YouTube was good, fam. Of course, right here. I want to talk about signs you are dating a player. Um, these signs are really not hard to uh, catch when you're dating a player. The red flags are usually going to always be red day in your face. But, ladies, here's the thing is, you know, like I always say, you know, you can't be caught up for a man. Uh, because when you're so caught up for a man, you are, you know, going to miss these red flags. You know, in boxing, um, a boxer, they put their guards up like this right here. And you know what that means? These are boundaries. These are boundaries. And they for protection. If a boxer, don't, if a boxer have, his, have his hand down like this right here, he can just get punched in the face. Boom. So... To block the punches, he had his guards up. And that's how you got to be as a woman. When you first meet a man, you, you got to have your guards up. You got to have your boundaries. And that's the time for you, like I said before, not to get excited, not to get over hyped up. Oh, you know, there's a time for you to start discerning, trying to discern that man's spirit. And have your guards up and let, as, and let him ease your guards down as he pursue you with consistently you know uh, but sign number one he's he gonna, he gonna start off saying the right things they know what to say they smooth talkers they're gonna tell you just what you want to hear in the beginning the first conversation a player is a man who know women he studied women he know what they like he know just what to say and this is why I always tell y'all you can't go by what a man is saying especially in the beginning I want you to understand this. Uh, you got to take your time. Take your time and have your guards up like this when you first meet this man. Then a woman supposed to slowly ease your guard down as he pursues you with consistently and as he continually talking to you, saying the right things and also doing the right thing. Then you easily, you easily let your guard down because these breasts going to protect you. This is what protect the bosses. When they swing, boom, boom, they're going to hit they're going to hit the guards. And that's how you got to be as a woman. You can't, you know, and, and nothing wrong with believing the man, believing what he say. That's fine. When a man tell you all those good things, he looking for a wife. Oh, you my wife. And, and I'm a girlfriend man. I want a girlfriend woman. And all those things. Those things are good. He supposed to say those things. That's what you want to hear. But guess what? Your God still put a bill like this right here. As a woman. Until this man consistently show you that, you know, he really mean what he's saying by actions. The second sign is he going to call you for the last minute for a date. And the reason why they do that is because you are just an option to him. And when they exhaust their other options, they're going to call you at the last minute for a date. You know, it's going to be a last minute thing. Oh, what you doing? I want to come out, pick you up, take you out on a date, whatever. You know, usually uh, when a man is sizzled with you, he's going to make plans for you and let you know in advance. Just say, it may be Tuesday or something like that. He might say, hey, are you? Uh, what are you doing Saturday? I want to I wanna take you out. Just say, y'all just not met. Y'all been talking on the phone for a few days, whatever. And then he, say, he might want to say, hey, you know, I want to make plans for you Saturday. Keep your schedule clear if you're not busy. I want to take you somewhere to a night restaurant and get to know you. That's normally what a real man want to do when he's really into you. But a player, he's going to call you at the last minute a lot of most of the times. And you may, now you may have some players, he may do it like that. He may plan dates too. Because you got some players, they are re very smooth. They are very smooth. So, again, but if you got your guards up like this right here, that because a man is planning the dates and doing all that, that doesn't mean you let your guards all the way down. You, you want to see consistency. You want to see consistency. Now, on the other hand, you may have some players who may not like to take you out to date. Their ideal of a date is for you to come to their place or them, them coming to your place. Because they got so many women, um, they try to hide you. They don't want to, you know, everybody see you, whatever. So... They don't want to spend no money on you, so they just want to hit it. So, what what they'll do is, their idea is the other date is, you know, hey, come to my place. Or, hey, could I come to your place? 
you know, and listen to me, ladies. Listen to me. This is why I always tell y'all, do not start off dating going to a man place. The first dates, you should, that man is supposed to take you out and date you and court you. You don't let a man come to your house and you don't go to his house. I, I got, you know, women come into my videos, oh, I, he brought me to his house and all this here, his mansion and he, he ain't trying to have sex with me, blah, blah, blah. I've been sending a comment. I've been sending a comment. And some of y'all women just don't understand this. When a man want to get you to his place, trust me. Trust me. He want to have sex with you. He want to have sex with you. When a man trying to get you by himself, by yourself, just you and him, he want to have sex with you. When the man is serious about you, come from another man's perspective, when the man is serious about you, he going to want to take his time and take you out and date you and court you, open the door for you. You know, and I'm saying... Just because a man is doing all these things, he's the one. You still got to have your guards up. You understand? You still got to have your guards up like a boxer. When he start taking you out, quoting you, opening the car door, just, you know, have your guards up. I'm not telling you if a man doing that, he the right one. I'm not saying that. But normally when a man is serious about you, he is going to spend time and he's going to take you out on a date. Never let a man know where you stay in the beginning of the talking stage. You just met this man. Don't let the man know where you stay. If he asks you where you stay, tell him I don't want to give you that information out right now. I don't know you like that. Just be honest and nice. You know, excuse me, I don't know you like that. I want I don't want to get that information right to you right now. We just met. And a real gentleman, a real man, he will respect that. And if he keep on insisting on Want to know where you stay at? Oh, why you want to let me know where you stay? Come on, tell me where you stay. Then you tell him, listen, you know, I'm not ready to tell you that right now. And then he'll talk about some other stuff. Or then he'll come back to it later on. So you want to let me know where you stay? You done told this man about three times already. Dude, I'm not letting you know where I stay right now. These are signs. These are red flags. They be red in your face. These are red flags, red in your face. You done told this man about three or four times that you're not ready to let him know where you stay. A man is supposed to take you out, plan dates, plan things with you, take his time with you. Don't never go to his house or he come to your house on the first date. Don't do it. I don't I don't recommend that. Now, some of y'all be doing it, you're taking a chance with your life. Or you might get raped. Because in his mind, oh, she must, she must want it. See, this is how men think. A man think if they get you to, to his place, he think, oh, shoot, oh, I'm going to get that. Oh, wow, I'm going to get that. He already got in his mind what he going to do, and he thinking that you want it, and you might not want it. You you thinking all innocent, like, we just going to go sit over here and talk and watch a movie. Yeah, he like, yeah. And then he might try you. He might try to stop him, and then now he forces himself on you. Now you raped. Now you raped. So I don't recommend that. The third sign is he's going to be emotionally unavailable. So when he do start, let's say y'all do start dating, he take you out, he may plan the date and everything. Because some players are very smooth, some players are very slick, and some players will plan some dates too. They will take you out and, you know, do all the right things, but they will be emotionally unavailable. And whenever a person is emotionally unavailable, that means that when you open up and talking to them, they're not really paying attention you want to look at their eye contact. Is they giving you eye contact when you're talking, when you're expressing yourself? You know, they're looking around, looking around, you know. Yeah, uh-huh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. And you want to look at that person's response. If they don't respond back to you like they into the conversation, they give you a quick answer. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 you know. And they must be unavailable. And that is a sign that, you know, when, when, when a man is a player, he just want to hit. He just want to have you as one of his side chicks. He just want to have you on his football team. So, like a like a bench player, you know, when you somebody else don't don't get hurt or somebody else don't pull through, boom. That's what they do on football. You got the bench warmers and you got the starters. See, you might be one of his bench warmers and, and one of them starters, like, you know, his main ones, if one of them don't go through, boom, he going to, you know what I'm trying to say? But he's going to be emotionally unavailable. He don't care about how you feel. He don't care about what you've been through. He don't care about this. He don't care about how your day is. You can tell him how your day is. He'll be like, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. 
you know, and then he'll try to change the subject. You no, know, all these signs be read in your face. But you can't be caught up. You gotta be focusing and you gotta have your discernment on on shock because you gotta discern this man's attention. Um number four, they don't like to spend quality time too much, a lot of time with you. Listen, when the man is serious about you, he gonna wanna at least talk to you on the phone, you know, at least an hour or so a day. But when he saying all the right things, he wanna be with you, he wanna, you know, the quality time is gonna be there, and it's and it's, and it's not gonna be some force, like you got to force. You 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 the only one, you know, trying to reach out to this person. And they just like you got to force it. You got to force. Mm -mm. He gonna be like, hey, what you doing? How you doing? How your day going? You know, these signs be red in your face. The red flag be red in your face, but they don't like to spend quality time with you. They don't like to spend quality time with you. They don't like to make time for you. And every time you try to ask them about, hey, let's do this, such, such, they got an excuse and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, these are some signs. And, 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 and the fifth sign is inconsistency. They're going to start off being, after a while, they're going to start off being good first. But once they see you got your guards up and you still just ain't letting them down, you ain't get, they not getting in with you. And... And now they see that you're not going to be easy. You're going to see the inconsistency in them. The calling going to stop. The date's going to stop. You know, and um, they're really not going to have no time for you because they're going to be going with the other people they also on the football team, going out with them. You know, spending time with them, having sex with them. So these are some signs you need to look out for, and they're going to be red in your face. The red flags always be there. But you got to pay attention to these red flags. This is um, signs that you are dating a player. There are some more signs out there. But this is the one that I came up with. Uh, stay tuned to my next video. My next video is going to be how to avoid getting played by the player. How to avoid getting played by the player. My next video. Hey, listen. If you like this video, man, give me a thumbs up. Help me out. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. So you can get notified when I drop more videos. You don't want to miss my upcoming videos. I got some great videos I'm going to be dropping coming up. You don't want to miss those videos. So hit that bell. How to avoid getting played by the player. My next video. It's Coach Rod. God bless you.